Hello students, how are you? My name is Mrs. Charity Okafo, one of your tutors in your school, St. Charles College, Anisha. I teach physics. I intend to teach a topic for SS1 physics students. The topic is particle nature of matter. How do Particle nature of matter. Before I start, I would like to state down the objectives which I expect you to achieve by the end of the topic. The, objecti the objectives are, look at the board, definition of matter with examples, structure of matter, evidence of particle nature of matter, definition of molecule, and structure of an atom. Then I start with number one objective, which is definition of matter with examples. Look around you. I guess you should be in your house. Think of anything you can see. I guess you can see chair, you can see table, you can see television. They are all matter. Why? Because they have mass and occupy space. Let me ask you. Is cobweb a matter? Yes, because it also has mass and occupies space. Now I pull down the definition of matter, which is matter can be defined as anything that has mass and occupies space. I repeat, matter can be defined as anything that has mass and occupies space. I now move to the next objective, which is structure of matter. Structure of matter. This has to do with the components of matter. What could make up matter? Believe it, matter is made up of molecule. Molecule is in turn made up of atom. Atom is in turn made up of particles. Have a look at a simple diagram on the board. You draw four boxes. Draw four boxes. Join them with a line. You join the four boxes with a line. In the first box, you write matter. Second box, you write molecule. Third box, you write atom. Fourth box, you write particle. Particles. The four boxes drawn, join you with a line, as you can see on the board, represent structure of matter. This simply represents structure of matter. For example, water is a matter. Water is made up of molecules. The molecules, if subject to chemical process, will be split into hydrogen elements and oxygen elements. That is to make you understand that water is made up of hydrogen and atom. At the atomic level of water, Consists of what? Hydrogen and oxygen. When you get two atoms of hydrogen and get one atom of oxygen, the two combine to make a water molecule. And now move to the next objective, which is evidence of particle nature of matter. Evidence of particle nature of matter. This evidence is like Phenomenon that occurs. What happens? For us to understand that matter is made up of particles. Number one evidence is diffusion. One is what? Diffusion. What is diffusion? Diffusion can be defined as the tendency of fluids. Of fluids. To mix intimately with one another 
due to constant random motion of molecules. Gravitation, I repeat, can be defined as the tendency of fluids to mix intimately with one another due to constant random motion of molecules. Fluids are liquid and gas. Anything that can flow, just like water. Anything that can flow is called fluid. Solid cannot flow. It cannot be called fluid. Fluid. Example of this diffusion is the perfume you use in your house. Whenever you use it, you must perceive an odor. The odor you perceive is as a result of molecules of the perfume moving about. They move scattered. And that is process is what we call diffusion. Another evidence is law of definite proportion. Law of definite proportion. Law of definite proportion. Law of definite proportion has to do with the idea of combining two or more elements to form a compound. And they do so in simple proportion by weight. When two elements, two elements of modern combine to form a compound, they do so in simple proportion by weight. For instance, sodium chloride is a compound formed when sodium reacts with chlorine. Now, the weight of sodium is known to be what? The weight of sodium is 23 grams. The weight of chlorine is 35 grams. When you add this, when you check their weight, which is 23 plus 40, 35 grams, will give you 58 grams. When you check the weight of 23 gram of sodium, which reacts with 35 gram of chlorine, the total weight makes up 58 gram. Now, when they react to form a compound called sodium chloride, it is being known that the weight of sodium chloride form is 58 gram, which is exactly the same with this. Now, see it, sodium chloride, when they react, N, A plus C, L, gives you sodium chloride. This is sodium chloride is also equal to what? 58 gram. The weight of this sodium chloride is 58 gram. This explains a lot of definite proportions. We take it as one of evidence of particle nature of matter. And now move to the next evidence, which is photoelectric effects. Photoelectric effects. Photoelectric effects. Photometric effects explain the idea of what happens when sunlight falls on metals. Whenever sunlight falls on metal, electrons are emitted. When electrons emit from, from metal, sorry, when electrons emit from metals as a result of sunlight falling on them, something takes place. What takes place is what we call photoelectric effect. The, the modern houses you can see around, you see something mounted on the roofs of modern houses, which is called photocell. The photocell uses the process of photoelectric effect to generate electricity. Whenever they are being exposed to sunlight, later you expect electricity to generate, which you use later. So, Due to the emission of electrons in the metals, we count photoelectric effect as one of evidence of particle nature of matter. 
Another evidence is counting effects. Counting effects. Counting effects. Counting effects explain the idea of what happens when X ray collide with an electron. This takes place in X ray 2. What we call X ray 2. That is where this counting effect takes place. In the course of producing X ray, it is possible part of X ray produced collide with electron. The outcome, what result, is what we know as counting effect. This takes place in X-ray 2. The outcome of X-ray colliding with electron, the outcome is like scattering elastically after colliding. It's just like we have two balls. You bounce two balls, the outcome they scatter elastically. Exactly what happened. Exactly how it is when X-ray collide with electron in the course of producing it in an X-ray tube. Remember this X-ray of a thing, this cutting effect? We can't see it because X-ray is not something we can be exposed to. It is dangerous to human health. Even the people using it have to undergo regular checkup because we understood that it causes cancer. So atom can simply be defined as the simplest part of an element that takes part in a chemical reaction. The simplest part of the smallest part of an element that takes part in a chemical reaction. Just like water. When you combine two atoms of hydrogen, it is the smallest bit of water. Combine it to one atom of oxygen, a water molecule will be formed. The smallest bit of water, as a matter, are hydrogen elements and oxygen elements. So this implies the definition as atom being the smallest part of an element that takes place in a chemical reaction. I now move to the structure of an atom. Structure of an atom. Atom consists of two, three particles. Atom consists of three particles. The particles are proton, neutron, and electron. Have a look at the diagram. Diagram, a simple diagram of an atom. It consists of three particles, electron, this positive charge, inside this what inside what we call nucleus is proton. The one that has no charge, we call it neutron. Proton. The assignment is list the three phenomena that explains the molecular theory of matter, YF 2017 theory number three of part A question. Please do the assignment, post to my number. Let me say down my WhatsApp number. I can attend to you. My number is 080 640 Three seven eight four five. I repeat zero eight zero six four zero three seven eight four five. Thank you. Have a nice time.